Server relocations can be broken down into separate individual stages. Inventory. Disconnect. Reconnect. And post-move data center support. During each of these stages there are essential terms, equipment, and tools you will need to know on site. Another key piece of equipment is a switch. The switch is an essential building block for network communication. It allows multiple servers to communicate to each other and send data to a device or user. In the diagram, the server sends data to a switch which distributes that information to various devices including workstations, printers, and phones. Switches can be placed in different locations depending on the design of the data center. TOR or top of rack switch is used when each rack within the row has its own switch. This allows each rack to be its own managed unit. Alternatively the client may use EOR or end of row switches. The first rack within the row will house the switch as connecting the hundreds of servers of the row together. When using this topology, the entire row is the managed unit. The type of layout varies site to site and if you are unsure, ask your project manager. For ease of maintenance, cable management and routing is very important in the data center. Above the rows of racks are ladder racks. Cables run along these cable managers around the data center from devices out to the end users, or to other devices in the data center. Cable management can also be below the ground on raised data centers however, above the rack the cabling is much more modular and accessible. Patch panels are a point of separation between the infrastructure cables above or below the server racks. Patch cables connect server devices to the patch panel keystone jack and the keystone is terminated to the infrastructure cables. Terminating a cable is the work performed to the end of a cable in order to connect it to a device. While ladder racks manage the cables above the servers, inside the server rack or cabinet there are additional cable managers that organize the patch cables. Vertical cable managers are on the outside edges of the rack and manage the cables running up and down. Horizontal cable managers are mounted to the rack between server devices. They keep cables connected to the servers and direct them through a tunnel to the vertical cable managers along the side. Since many server cabinets have covers for the vertical and horizontal cable managers, correctly routing the cables and cable managing will result in a clean appearance. The benefit of cable managing is maintenance and replacement of cables is much easier with a well-organized rack. There are several types of cables found on site. First are copper network cables or ethernet cables. These are categorized by their generation and speed. Most commonly found on site is CAT5E and CAT6 cables. CAT5E is slightly thinner than CAT6 and has a lower overall cost. In order to ensure the cable is able to handle the transfer rates necessary, be sure you use the correct type of cable. On some projects, cables may have been ordered at specific lengths, colors for different function, and quantities. For a connection that only needs a 24-inch cable, do not use a cable that is longer than necessary so we do not run out of inventory for longer connections later in the project. Data centers also use fiber cables. Fiber cables are more delicate than copper and should be handled with care. You can also notice that on their end, you also need to press down on the tab to release the cable from the port. Fiber can be single-mode simplex, or dual-mode duplex. Used as an alternative for copper and fiber is the twin axe cable. In the data center you can typically see twin axe used between the servers and a top of rack switch. They are much lower cost but the negative of using twin axe rather than the former is you are limited by the length before data cannot be transferred properly. Power cables found on site include, C13 which is the male connection and C14, the matching socket. C15 is a similar shape to C13 with a central notch. C15 the male plug connects to the C16 socket. C19 is also used and plugs into the C20 socket. C19 and C20 are rectangular in shape. 